Kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. The kitten's little cousin. One day, Mommy told the kitty cats that they had guests coming over. Kittens, guess what's happening today? My sister, your Aunt Cinnamon, is coming to visit. And she'll be bringing her little son, Bagel, along with her. We have a real-life cousin? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I'm curious what our cousin, Bagel, is really like. I'm sure he's really well-behaved. Good afternoon, cousin. What a charming bow you have. Huh? I'm sure that he loves to read. <laughs> and I bet he's good at playing soccer. <laughs> With him on our side, we'll have the best team ever. Or an amazing music band. <laughs> Hi. Hello there, Cinnamon. Auntie Cinnamon. <laughs> Hello there, little kittens. My, how big you've all gotten. Where's Bagel? We want to meet our cousin. Of course, here's your cousin. <laughs> um, is that really our cousin? Now, sweetie, behave yourself. You play with your little cousin and we'll go make some tea. The kittens hadn't expected Bagel to be so little. They didn't know what to do. He can't even walk. How can we play with him? And he really can't talk at all. Oh, be careful. This is my very favorite dolly. See this cool ball bagel? You can play with it if you want to, all right? <laughs> I guess you're too small to play with it right. Hey, look at this. It's the best game ever. It's called chess. <laughs> oh, the ball yeah. from my chess set. You can't play with my doll. <laughs> or with my toy cars. <laughs> We should try to calm him down. We can't let him play with the windmill model. It's for kittens that are way bigger than him. If he plays with it, it'll get broken. That's it. I have a really good idea. We just need to find some baby toys for him. When I was just a little kitten, I loved this rattle very much. Look, isn't it cute? The kittens found the toys they had played with when they were little themselves. Kittens, you've become real friends with Bagel. Well, we need to make sure we come visit you guys more often. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats saw that playing with little kittens can be fun, especially if you try to remember what it was like to be a baby yourself. The art gallery. The kitty cats had worked up quite an appetite butterfly chasing when they ran into their friend, Mustard. Hey there, Mustard! <laughs> oh, hi. What are you eating there? The yummiest eclair in the history of the world. Oh, wow. <laughs> Could the three of us have just a taste of it? Not a chance. If you want some, then go buy one for yourself. 
They sell them over there in the cafeteria, the little one that's inside the great big fancy art gallery. Hum. A cafeteria in the art gallery? Can you tell us how we can get there? All right, first you go straight ahead past the square cat, go straight until you reach the screaming cat, then go right as far as the smiling cat. You'll come to a sculpture, the thinking cat. Right past him is the cafeteria, and in the cafeteria are the eclairs. That made no sense at all. What square cat where? Uh, I don't understand it, but I do have it memorized. Then why don't we run home and draw a nice map of our route? The kitty cats were very excited to have a map to the world's yummiest treasure. Hey, Mom! Can we visit the big art gallery, please? Oh, it's wonderful that you kitties have taken an interest in art, but I'm tied up cooking lunch. Ask your father. I bet he'd be happy to take you to the gallery. Mom said that? You know, I'm just as busy as your mother. As long as it's for the sake of art, though, I guess this can wait. Let's go to the art gallery right now. Hooray! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The gallery was very big and had lots and lots of pictures. Listen up, kitties, and I'll teach you all about the art. This place has all the greats, like, uh, uh, was, uh... Hey, there's the square cat, look! Come on! He's really funny, too! <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is Cats on Rocks by Andy Hairball. Huh? Ooh, that's a masterpiece. The screaming cat's next. Look there! Ah! <laughs> oh, this is a very famous painting. It's called the Owl. Look, there's the smiling cat. Huh? Mm. <laughs> the Mona Lisa. Oh, what's that? That must be the thinking there? cat over there. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> hey, look! The eclairs. Daddy, could you please buy some yummy eclairs for us? Hey, is this the whole reason you wanted to come here? <sighs> Mustard was right. This is the yummiest eclair I've ever eaten. Now, this is what I call a masterpiece. They use my eclair recipe to make those, you know. Then could you make some more for us when we get home? I don't think so. I have to finish my work. I lost time taking you to a gallery when you really wanted to go to a bakery. Well, you got what you came for. Come on. It's a shame that Dad won't make us any more eclairs. Because I really love those things. They're great, but I also like the screaming cat. I loved the smiling cat. I thought the square cat was really cool. But Dad thinks the three of us didn't care anything about the art. I have a super good idea. We should all do our very own paintings for him. Then Daddy will know that the gallery trip wasn't a waste of time at all. And soon the kitty cat's house was full of hardworking artists. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what are you up to in here? Oh, it's just wonderful. Why, we could hang these up and have our own art gallery. Darling kittens, I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed looking at these paintings. And I thought this was a good way to say thank you. Eclairs! The kittens agreed that Dad's eclairs were a work of art. Now it's just like a big fancy gallery here. Beautiful art everywhere and a first rate cafeteria. Um. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Dad's eclairs were a very big hit, and everyone agreed the Kitty Cat's art gallery was almost as good as the real thing. Ghosts! One day, Mommy and Daddy decided to clean every nook and cranny in the house. While you are carefully vacuuming every rug we have, I will do the window washing. Then we'll do the cellar together. Also, we have to change all of the bedding in the house and wash all the curtains huh? and dust the shelves. Hey, we'd like to help you both with the house cleaning. Really? Are you sure you won't get distracted and start playing? We won't get distracted. We really want to help. Pretty please, Mommy. Okay, now Candy, you can wipe all the dust off all the shelves. While Cookie and Pudding change all the bed sheets in your room, all right? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wouldn't it just be super awesome to have a big pillowcase race? <laughs> 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 Oh, my God.
Sure would, but first we have to finish our work, remember? <laughs> hey, Pudding, you look amazing, just like a genuine real-life ghost. <laughs> so do you. I can see you through the sheet. Me too. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Be afraid, Candy. Remember, there's no such thing as ghosts. But I really saw them. Do you think they live in the basement and we disturbed them with all the spring cleaning? things, sweetheart. We don't need to worry about ghosts, but not having enough time to hang the linens out to dry does worry me. Candy wanted to take a picture of the ghosts and show it to Mommy. Oh, they're not here! Admit it. We really got you. Boo! <laughs> <gasps> How awful! Uh, Mommy, are you that afraid of these ghosts? No, I'm afraid that you have muddied up my nice clean linens. It was absolutely Cookie and Pudding's fault. They were running around pretending to be ghosts instead of cleaning. You weren't doing your cleaning either. You forgot all about dusting the shelves. Instead, you were just chasing us around. Yeah, and you're the reason we ended up in the puddle and got all muddy. Oh, I just knew you kittens would end up playing and forget all about cleaning. Hey, I know what we should do. We need to finish the jobs that we started, but without any distractions, like ghost chasing. That's a really good idea, Candy. Come on, I'll find some other clean linens for the beds. Mommy, we finished everything! Great, kittens! All that's left is cleaning up the basement. After that, all of our housekeeping jobs will be finished. Uh, uh, huh? uh, 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 it's uh, a real uh, ghost! Uh, <laughs> oh, my kitty! I just found these cool old white curtains in the basement. What should I do with them? These old sheets would be just perfect for dressing up as ghosts. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Whoa. <laughs> and that's how the kitty cats learned that playing could be even more fun after all the work was done. Treasure! One lovely day, Mom and Dad took Cookie, Candy, and Pudding to see their grandma. My lovely precious kittens. Nice, nice to, to see you, you Granny. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Mom and Dad. Bye, Bye. Bye. I'm so excited about our day together. I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun. Awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, wee. Now, 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 now. No running or jumping, kittens. But uh, well. you'll get overheated and start sweating, and then you'll get sick. Let's check. Phew, normal temperature, thank goodness. Play safely for a little while. I have some things to take care of in the kitchen. The kitties had brought a jump rope and badminton set to play with. But how could they use them if they weren't allowed to run or jump? What are we supposed to do now? Let's find a tree we can climb. Great, Great idea. idea. No, 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 not safe. No climbing trees either. You could slip on a branch. Or get your head stuck in a knot hole. Or fall. Not safe. Maybe just sit still, my treasures. How can we have fun when we're not allowed to do anything at all? <gasps> I've got it. Let's play throw the acorn at the tree. Sounds fun. I'll go first. Look at it go. Oh. No, not safe. 
There'll be no acorn throwing. What if one bounces back and whomps you on the nose, my treasures? Then how are we supposed to have fun? <laughs> I think I know a nice safe game. Let's hide some precious treasure somewhere, and then we'll see if Grandma can find it. Sure, that sounds nice and safe. Once the treasure is hidden, the kittens would play colder, warmer with Grandma until she found it. But where could they hide it? Look! Mm -mm. Oh! Mm -mm. Oh, in that bush! Ready, Grandma! Grandma started hunting for the treasure. Getting warm! Cold! Huh? What? Feeling cold, kittens? You could be getting sick. It's part of the game, Grandma. We're not talking about temperature. Cold means you're far away from the treasure. Cold, Grandma. Cold as ice. Oh, now I'm cold for real. Getting warmer. Even warmer. You're burning up. I found the treasure, kittens. But, um, that isn't our chest. Our chest was blue and smaller. But this is amazing. It's my long-lost treasure chest. When I was just a little kitten myself, I filled this up with all my favorite things. Oh, Grandma, you remember being a playful kitten like us? Sure. Back then, badminton was my favorite sport. I was pretty dadgum good at it, too. And this jump rope was my other very favorite thing. Wow, Grandma used to jump and play and stuff without worrying about getting sick. These acorns came from the top of a huge tree that they said was unclimbable. I sure showed them. But my very, very favorite thing was shooting arrows. Uh, but what if one of them bounces back at you and whomps your nose? I used suction cup arrows. So even if they whomped your nose, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> oh, that's my oven beeping. It's time for my baking to come out. It turns out that Grandma is really fun. So how come she won't let us have any fun? <laughs> my precious kittens will have fun, but first some freshly baked goodies to get you ready to play. Grandma had baked gold doubloon cookies and filled the chest with them. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're the bestest treasure of all, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> You're my best treasure as well. Now, would anyone like to learn how to shoot a bow and arrow? Oh, awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Finding her kittenhood treasures reminded Grandma what it felt like to be young. And she and the kittens ran and jumped and played together for the rest of that wonderful day. Following instructions. One day, Grandma was cleaning out a room for the kittens to have sleepovers at her house. Grandma! My dear lovely kittens, your new bedroom is virtually ready. All that's left is to build your beds. They'll be so comfy. Well, that is, as soon as I figure out how to assemble them. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Where's the pirate ship you bought for us, Daddy? Ahoy, here it is. But I think I left the instruction manual in the trunk. <laughs> oh, there are a lot of parts in that one. It should take a long time. Piece of cake. We'll make the pirate ship super quick. And then we can go down and sail it on your pond. Wonderful. And while all of you are busy assembling ships and beds, I will go cook our dinner. Hey, Pudding, can you tell me what this says? Uh... Take part A and connect it with part B. Then insert part C straight into part D. Hmm? I didn't understand a single word of that. Hmm. <laughs> we can put the ship together using our imagination. Imagine that this is part of the pirate ship's deck. This looks like the steering wheel. And right here is the pirate flag. The kittens are sure that they can build a great ship. Aww. I guess we need the instructions after all. I'll go and get them out of the trash bin. But those instructions are so long. I'll be 100 years old before I'm done with them. I think we should try being logical. Meaning what? 
I'll explain. There's a lot of these small planks. They probably form the deck. It's only logical, right? They probably go up on top of these bow-shaped parts. That's logical too, isn't it? Doesn't, Doesn't look logical. logical. So, I guess it's time to get the instructions out of the trash bin. All right. All right. Uh, Grandma, where's the stuff that was in this garbage can? I sorted them into the recycling bins so the garbage men could cart them off. No! no! Oh, why'd I have to throw the instructions out? Oh, we'll never be able to find them now. Oh, it wouldn't be with the glass recycling. Instructions are made of paper. It should be in with the paper recycling, which hasn't been emptied out yet. Hooray! The instructions! Thank you very much, Grandma. This time around, the kitty cats did everything just as the instructions told them to. It still didn't work with the instructions. What's going on? I have a really good idea. Let's ask Daddy to help us put the pirate ship together. Daddy was still hard at work assembling the kittens' beds. <laughs> It looks like Daddy needs just as much help as us. Daddy, are you sure you're following the instructions? Well, I did look them over. Uh, I just laid them aside. Uh, I thought I could build it on my own. So, uh, mast and uh, anchor and uh, steering wheel. Oh, kitten dears, may I have a look at your instruction manual? Well, I figured out the problem. You got your instructions mixed up somehow. Right here are the pirate ship instructions, and here are the ones for the beds. Well, look at that. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think you'll have any more problems now. So awesome! Wow, me, wow, me, wow, me, wow! It can be fun imagining or trying to figure out things for yourself. Following the instructions usually makes the job much easier. The Day of the Black Cat. One day, the kitty cats and their friends were getting ready to celebrate the Day of the Black Cat. Well, here he is, our lucky black cat. I'll get everything ready so we can start. Daddy hid the lucky black cat in a secret spot and left clues and hints around to help the kittens find him. <laughs> now, kittens, if you can find the black cat before 6 p.m., well, then you'll be able to grab good luck right by the tail as the legend goes. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Look! I don't think the black cat would fit inside that small box. Huh, it's my whistle. It's really pretty and shiny. Uh, I guess that it's some kind of clue, guys. Maybe we're supposed to blow it. <gasps> oh! <gasps> hey, we need that whistle. It's a clue. <laughs> <laughs> There's a clue in here! Raspberries. I think it means we should go to the raspberry bush in the park. Oh. <laughs> the quest Daddy had put together for the kittens was not an easy one. <laughs> but after a lot of hard work, they finally found the last clue. Hidden somewhere in our house. Come on, hurry! Guys, wait! Where is Smudge? Hey, Smudge! Hey, maybe we buried him at the sandbox accidentally. Whoa.
The magpie could have swooped down and taken Smudge. <laughs> or maybe he just got lost somewhere. Good idea. We should go on a hunt for Smudge. If we do that, we won't find the black cat in time. And we won't grab luck by its tail. Smudge is our friend. That's more important than grabbing good luck. Hey, hey Smudge! Smudgy! Hey, Smudge! Oh, oh these are Smudge's footprints. <gasps> it's, it's Smudge! Smudge. Help me, guys! I can't get out of this gully! It's just too slippery! Ooh. Grab on! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Well, it looks like he didn't find the black cat in time. Well, Smudge fell in a ditch and got stuck. Oh! And we were saving him! And you did the right thing. <laughs> well, since Smudge here happens to be a black cat as well, and you found him before six, I believe you grabbed luck by the tail after all. And here is your prize. Yummy chocolate kittens with a fortune inside. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Will you read my fortune for me, Mommy? <laughs> this year, you are going to have a lot of fun. Lots of interesting stuff is waiting for you. You have good friends that will stay by your side. This would be a very good year for everyone, especially Smudge, because the best luck of all is having wonderful friends around you. Off to the races. One day, the kittens brought remote-controlled cars to the playground. Now car number one speeds ahead of the pack, rounding all Hey, I think we should build our own racetrack on the playground. So we can have a race? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But I want to be in the race as well. Do you even know how to drive these cars? Well, no, but I'd really like to learn. May I? Uh, okay, fine. This drives the car forward, and this button makes it go backward. Finally, you steer it by turning hmm. this little wheel. Ah, it seems simple enough. Not that way! No, oh. stop! Um, let me try to back up. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of it. Oh. Oh. Which way are you going? Oh. Go backwards! Reverse! Well, that's oh. about enough of that. Everybody knows that girls aren't any good at driving. They just aren't quick enough. Uh, but girls are really good at pushing strollers, so that's something. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let's put a really sharp turn. And then we can put a ramp here. I'm gonna prove to them that girls are every bit as good at driving cars as boys are. Candy found the remote control that operates her robo-fish. Excellent, now I just need a little practice. Huh? Uh, uh. Oh, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Oh, oh. true at all. Driving fast doesn't mean driving well. When I drive home from the supermarket, I try to avoid every pothole and bump and turn very gently because I don't want to spill my groceries everywhere. <laughs> I've got a really good idea. 
Candy drove the robofish very carefully to keep her favorite doll safe. All set for the race? Yeah. A sardine mobile? <laughs> <laughs> Candy the sardine driver! <laughs> Come on, Candy, hurry up! Flap your fins faster! <laughs> <laughs> Drivers, start, start your, your engines! engines. Go! Go. Cross the line first. It's first, middle, and last. Then Candy wins and we all lose. It looks like girls can become good drivers after all. And since I was victorious, you boys have to push my doll carriage. Just do it carefully, please. Turns out not only being fast, but also being careful can help win the race, no matter how big or small. The phone. <laughs> One fun fall day, the kitty cats were playing with their friends on the playground. <laughs> then along came Chase. Meow! Meow! Look what my father just gave to me! A, a cell, cell phone! phone. <laughs> it's got a music app with tons of songs! It takes photos! Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> but most importantly, check this out. Super cool. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Can I have a turn playing too? And me. Can I also have a turn? But first, me. Come on, come on, go! The kitty cats played with Chase's new phone for hours. So I'm gonna ask Chase if I can borrow his phone after lunch so I can take a picture of a slug that I found. And then I want to use it to listen to my very favorite song. I'll finish my cyber soccer tournament too. Wait a sec. Oh. Hey, we should ask Mommy and Daddy to buy us each a telephone. That way we won't need to ask for Chase's phone all the time. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Well, a phone is very useful when you need to call someone and talk to them about something. But using it all the time is not good. Imagine what would happen if everyone spent all their time talking on the phone instead of to each other in person. Meow there, Cupcake. How have you been? Long time no see. Candy, it has been a while. We should really meet up sometime. Or if instead of listening to real live music, only listened on their phones. Huh? Ah. Or imagine if everyone only played phone soccer instead of the real thing. And the ball hasn't moved once in 44 minutes! Oh! Yuck! That wouldn't be anything like soccer! We live in the real world instead of on the phone. Thank, Thank you, you mommy. mommy! Super yummy, Mommy. My pleasure, kids. Time to play! Boris, Dart, and Smudge were still glued to Chase's new phone. They couldn't put it down. Goal! Ten to zero! So awesome! I have a really good idea. We have to get them to play with us instead of the telephone. Another goal! Awesome! What? Smudge, let's play some soccer while you're waiting for your phone turn. Yeah, all right. Dart and Boris are ahead of me in line to use the phone anyhow. <laughs> Goal. Goodness, this is fun. 
<laughs> Boris, I'm gonna play while you're busy with the phone. <laughs> 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 Well, it looks like I won, just like last time. All right, then. Who wants to play next? Huh? Huh? Uh, 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 hey, wow, a real live soccer game. Hey, everybody, can I play? Yeah, Chase, we could use a good striker. Catch it. Hooray. This is even better than on the phone. <laughs> Meow? Mommy? Yeah, I'm here at the park. All of us are going to play a game of real life soccer now. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Phones are great for calling someone when you need to talk to them. Goal! But playing is always more fun in the real world with friends. A trip to the store. Mommy and Daddy were doing all their shopping, and they brought the kitty cats along. Spaghetti noodles. Bananas. And fresh fish. I think we might need a second shopping cart. How much longer? I want to go home and play. And I'm really hungry. Wait, looks like we forgot the milk, bread, and tea. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Now we have to pick it all up. While you pick it up, we could get the bread, milk, and tea. Good idea. That way it'll be faster. Well, I think we can trust you with this big, important grown-up job. Right Daddy and I will be waiting for you outside. Mommy gave them her wallet so they'd be able to pay. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cookie, you go and pick up the bread, and Pudding, you get the milk, and I'll find some tea. <laughs> but the bread wasn't nearly as interesting as the toys, and who cares about milk when there's candy? And speaking of candy... Candy remembered that she had a very important job to do. But it looked like Cookie might have forgotten that. And Pudding, too. Where's the milk and bread? We have Mommy's wallet. There's enough money in it to buy anything. Milk and bread are kind of boring, but candy's awesome. Pudding, but then what will we drink if we don't have milk? Cups of candy? <laughs> Without any bread, then what's Mommy going to make sandwiches out of? Out of a toy bus? Oh! Uh. <sighs> oh, all, oh right. all right. The kitty cats went to buy bread, but it turned out there were lots of different kinds. Let's just grab this one and go. But that's a cheesecake tart cookie. We're just looking for regular bread. Uh, how's this one? I'm pretty sure it needs to be brown. This one, then? That one's round, but the sandwiches that we eat are always square. Look, this one's square and brown as well. All right, that just leaves milk. It turned out milk came in different kinds, too. Strawberry. That isn't right. Chocolate, yum. Nope, still wrong. Well, is this it? That's yogurt, not milk. Uh, it looks like this is just normal milk. Then that's the one we want. Chase's mom was a cashier at the market. Cookie, candy, and pudding, too. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Look at you three big kitties, grocery shopping all by yourselves. We're in the middle of a big, important grown-up job. Oh, those skates are really pretty. I can wear them at the ice rink. Cool. You guys, we gotta get some skates. But you haven't got enough money to buy everything. It's either the skates or the groceries. Well, well then, we'll, we'll take, take the, the skates. skates. Hang on, listen. If we really do this, we'll have skate soup for lunch today. Ready, everyone? Bon appetit. Oh. High skate soup doesn't sound very yummy. And I'll bet ice skate sandwiches are even worse. We'd like to use the money to pay for our groceries. That's why we're here. 
Mommy, Daddy, Daddy, hey! We got everything. Well done, my little dears. You did your big grown-up job very well. Are you ready for a nice surprise? <laughs> ice rink tickets all around. Mommy and I bought them while you three did the grocery shopping. The ice rink? Awesome! That's what we wanted! But we don't have any ice skates, boys. That's all right. We can just rent skates for you there. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats did great at their big important grown-up job, but having a wonderful time with the whole family was the most important job of all. Baby Tooth. One day during breakfast, Candy felt something strange. Oh, I think my tooth is wobbling. Good for you. Your teeth are starting to fall out, Candy. What? Mommy, am I going to lose them all? <laughs> Don't worry. You're just oh. losing what are called baby teeth, darling. When your baby teeth fall out, different ones begin oh. to grow in. Your permanent teeth, which last forever and ever. Cookie and I went through the same thing when we were little. Then I'll be getting a whole new tooth? Awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Candy couldn't wait to show her tooth to her friends. Gee? All right, loose tooth, that's awesome! I did not like it when my baby teeth were coming out one bit. I thought it made me look not so pretty. <laughs> when my teeth came out, I was really hoping I would grow crazy giant fangs in their place. Obviously, it didn't happen. But when you lose a tooth, you can put it underneath your pillow. Then the tooth fairy will come and take the tooth and leave a present for you. from the Tooth Fairy? That sounds super great! Is there a way to get my tooth out faster at all? Well, you could just bite an apple. Your tooth will get stuck in it and come right out. But what if I accidentally eat my tooth, though, along with the apple? Ow! <laughs> oh? Then the Tooth Fairy won't get anything. Just tie a string to your tooth. Then you simply attach the string to the back of a car. And then when it leaves, so will your tooth. Oh! You know what? It'd be even better if you tied it to a plane. But what if the tooth is too tough and it won't come out? <laughs> <laughs> Just go to the dentist if the tooth doesn't come out on its own. I did that one time. It was a dark and spooky dentist's office. And the dentist wore a dark and spooky mask and plucked and pulled and tugged out my little bitty white baby tooth. Ooh. <laughs> there goes Smudge and his scary stories again. Dentists don't wear masks that are dark and scary. They're actually really friendly and helpful. Dentists are fine, but I still don't want to go to one. I'll just let my tooth fall out all by itself. <laughs> Wait. Okay, lunchtime. Come on then, Candy. Candy hadn't eaten anything all day, and her wobbly tooth still hadn't come out. That's that. I'm calling the dentist right now. I'm sure he'll sort this out in a hurry. Hello? I'd like to make a dentist appointment, please. I don't want to go see the dentist at all. I'm real scared. Don't worry, Candy. We'll come with you. Yeah. All right now, Candy, let's open wide. Uh... Pop! And there's our little baby tooth. <gasps> Is it done? Yep. And pretty soon you'll have a brand new grown-up tooth. But you must remember, take care of your teeth by brushing and flossing and seeing me. Thank you, sir. Now I can give my tooth to the Tooth Fairy. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> huh? One second. Oh. Hmm. Uh. Oh. You need to stick around a little while, Daddy. Your teeth need some work. Do you eat a lot of sweets? Uh, well, I, I, I have to for my job at the candy factory. Mm. Everyone needs to take care of their teeth. Uh. Watch the sweets. Uh. Brush and floss twice a day, and then they're sure to stay healthy and strong. <laughs> <laughs>